you know, it's just going to be uncomfortable. And I'm going to be sitting there in one of these like seats that it's not made for people. It's tiny. These tiny little... They don't make them for people. They make it so that only like th a third of the people are, are going to show up so that each person can have enough room if they stick their leg over the armrest. They're just tiny, like, with a sitter behind me. I'm going to be in with a, with, a, with a sitter in my, in, in my head from the guy behind me who, who doesn't realize that the stender is, is small... Just mean small enough so that I'll be disturbed the whole time. So that I'll be in shul on, on Rosh Hashanah, the Day of Judgment, screaming at this idiot for not realizing that his sitter has been in my neck for the whole of davening. Like, doesn't realize it. Like, when, he, when he's flipping a page and combing my hair with... This is... Yeah, yeah, the hair's all... Why is David's hair all going to the left? Because you're hit, hitting me with... I'll be fighting with the guy next to me, my little nephew. He doesn't even, my nephew doesn't even realize there's other people sitting there. It's like the whole row is his armrest. If he, just share. How about sharing an armrest? It's the day of judgment. How about togetherness? Front seas, back seas. Back seas, front seas. Yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe the guy next to me also has an arm. And... And he needs a little, little, little space on the armrest. Hmm? I mean, if I'm, you know, like, lucky, I mean, I mean, I might end up in the plastic chair section. No, I'm not paying, uh, paying for a seat. No, then, uh, with the guy in front of me, yeah, like they're, 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 they're their technique to make my. Uh, Tefillah in connection with Hashem on the Day of Judgment, uncomfortable in testing, is to inch the chair back. That's, he'll be inching it back just ever subtly. So that, yeah. Yeah, when I'm praying the Amida on my tippy toes, yeah, I notice. Yeah, I'm noticing how uncomfortable I am because you, you're taking up my chair section too. When in order to stand, I have to move sideways stack the chair, stack my chair so that I have enough room to, to, to bounce into the next guy next to me, stacking the chair, like I'm, now I'm a custodian, not worthy enough to have space, I just don't know if I'm, if I'm going to be able to last, and I'm really, you know, worried, because I'm, I'm an uncle now, and I gotta set an example, I'm going to be with the kids, and, I mean, maybe I can get a, get away with showing up late because her this their parents always say don't be like Uncle D. So I can you know maybe show up just like for show for you know set that kind of example. Come to show smack the guy in back of me. He hit the chauffeur while hitting him for being an idiot and not realizing. Taking his Sidor smacking the guy next to me for not sharing the armrest